Hey guys, it's Jack with Stage Right Secrets. I'm here with New Politics. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Great. So, we need to talk about your single, first of all. It is a pretty epic music video you guys have. <laughs> is there Thank one you. thing that fans would be surprised to know that happened during the music video or how you guys created it? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's funny you ask because a lot of people think that the big man thing is a, is a special effect. And it wasn't? No, it's real. It's like a real thing. We made our bodies smaller. <laughs> Where are these heads now? Well, actually, no, it's not. It's no, because, because we made because our bodies small. So there was, and a, there, was a, there was no, no, seriously, this is actually true. So there was a guy all day who was just like, "You're awesome, you're fantastic," and then slowly, <laughs> yes, like, this is good. And then once our heads were big, we were like, "We can't film them." Where they were like, "No, this is going to be even epic. This is going to be even better. Let's just do it now. Let's do a couple of takes with the big head." So we we're like, "Okay." Just kidding. It was just it was, kidding. It was, it was, it was in the thing. Uh, but a lot of a lot of the um, a lot of the effects. Um, um, you know, visual effects done with the lighting and stuff like that. I think that's why it is. That was it was really fun for us to do. We did a lot of cool stuff with projectors mm -hmm. and all these things, and, and it was yeah, it was it was awesome. It, it was, was like it I'm was trying to. You can look at the camera too. Yeah, it's yeah, it's <laughs> it was the first video where we ever really um, just kind of like focused on on. Just doing something that was like visually stimulating versus like a you know a, a whole storyline and everything. So. And one of the other things you emulated a whole bunch of music videos. Who selected those music videos to? We kind of all just did. We we just right like yeah. We with the we were I don't know. We love it. We love music videos and we just thought a bunch of the ideas were really <laughs> we love love funny. Music I do. I watch YouTube for like hours. I get something. Yeah. I don't know. About Start it. with one and video, then end yeah, with something. Yeah. So and also random. the, the yeah. director Brendan, he yeah. he had a, a bunch of really really cool ideas and he was, I think he was also really enjoying that we were able to have free hands and just we actually had those one scene that we didn't get to do that would have been awesome. Well, we had this, you know, rotating room. Oh. That that, but but actually, it wasn't built in time, so we didn't get to do it. But that would next been music video. Yeah, yeah, totally. No, but you know, but it's it's fun to do that kind of stuff because a lot of our other videos we have had a story. So this one was more about, you know, all the weird things and all the weird, um, you know, just every day you go through all these weird little awkward moments, and and it was fun to try and capture those in, in you know the visual. All these different weird scenes. <laughs> it's awesome. I'll put a link right here if you guys haven't seen it yet. And besides that, you guys have a second single picked. Ooh, we might. You we might. might. I think I think we have a couple of ideas, but yeah. we're not sure what it will be. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what goes into picking a single for you guys? What is you guys fidget don't spinner. disagree? That's fidget what spinner. it all comes yeah. down to. No, you let, just let whoever the fidgets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so whoever I'm points like, on the like, like, like spin the pile. Um, spin the pile. <laughs> I think it's a. Uh, it's. I. I think everybody knows what the next single is going to be. We do. Our managers do. But sometimes you get surprised. You know. Sometimes it's. It's. It's the song that that becomes the song on Spotify or on iTunes or whatever. So you don't. You don't always know. But I think everybody has a good idea about it. Yeah. I think once we have a release date for the record, we'll put it out on pre-sale and then we'll release the song slowly and kind of take it from there and then we're still working one of us so hopefully yeah, that is okay. just the beginning. Yeah, such a jam. And okay. new album though. Yes. We're working on it, right? How far along are you guys? We're pretty much done. Yeah. How do how do you guys come up with like the track listing and what songs make the cut or not? So I think that, that was one of the things where we um, should I look at the camera? <laughs> Probably. Uh, I think that that was one of the things where we every time you start writing an album, you go through a bunch of different phases where some of them are about you know you write a certain type of songs, and at some point something hits where you know that feeds and leads to something else. And I think that we just kind of knew we wrote a lot of songs though. We wrote, I don't know, like 80 songs probably, and yeah, then, crazy. you know, but it's also, it's so fun, so how can you not? All that, all we have to do, and we're so blessed and lucky, all you have to do is wake up in the morning, go to the studio and try and write a song. I mean, we are very lucky to do that, so so we had a blast doing it too, and a lot of things has happened this year too that inspired and, you know, it's kind of, it's a crazy life and we're very fortunate and lucky to be able to. You guys have been constantly touring. Have you written most of the record on the road, or how was recording, running back to the studio and coming back? On? I think the last two 
uh, this last, we haven't really been on tour for the past two years. Year. Year. No, year. isn't it about well, two years? Well, now you're on the road. Well, now you're it's finishing the record. Part. Yeah, it yeah. took about a year to write. It took about a I'm sorry, I'm going to in the mic and I'm sorry. It took about a year to write this right. We wrote, Vikings was written on the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. More or less. Yeah. yeah. I, I think we need a little bit of a break, to be honest. Yeah. Which is, like, this is going to sound crazy, but anything you do in life where you, it's sometimes you forget how lucky you are and and you forget all the good things around you and you, because if you do it every single day and it's all you see you, you know, we, I mean, even Dave and I, you know, we live together in New York and, and you know, there's been a lot of, at some point you just forget all, why you're doing it and, and especially if you tour that part, so it was actually really nice for the little break. It's not like it's been the longest break, we played it well. <laughs> you guys are back in the whole summer too. a bunch of shows. <laughs> but uh, yeah, albums like, like albums usually come in twos, right? Like you usually do a successful album and then you have a joke album. <laughs> joke album. A joke album, apparently yeah, a joke yeah. album. Yeah, do you guys like, have an album title? Not um, I, we, have, we, we, have, we have a couple of yeah. ideas. We don't know yet. We're not allowed really. Solid ideas. Really gonna, bro, man, right, solid ideas. Solid ideas. Solid Solid metal. Solid. Fucking solid. <laughs> <laughs> and in case you guys can't tell, their stage presence and shows are out of this world. Do you guys have a go-to move that? Yeah, this one right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that flies into the crowd. The funny thing is, he's actually pretty good at it. But every time there's a there's, camera, I can't it's like it. he can't. You did it a couple times. Oh, so. just, just the pressure. The pressure. The pressure is real. <laughs> um. Go to David, I don't know, go to move like David. He he dances a lot. Yeah, he, he, he dances. dances. He dances. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he tosses his guitar. Someone <laughs> throws his guitar in the air. Yeah. But it's not like a. Uh, I don't know if we. Uh, I mean, I guess it has become like a go to. I got like, really lucky there. Signature thing. <laughs> it's funny because the, all those things happen, you know, naturally, and then it's fun to do it. And it's like every time we have one of those crazy shows, something new happens and we'll start doing that. And I don't know, it's fun. It's it all moves around it's, and it's stuff. Yeah. The most messed up thing it was is like at one point I tried to just like throw the bass drum up in the air. Oh and, uh, God. But I caught it instead. <laughs> but David caught it and then he's like, you're not supposed to catch it. It's yeah, great. and then I got yelled at and it was shut down. We played in St. Louis two days ago and I actually came up with a go-to move that apparently that I don't even remember it being there but I had two nights in a row where I fell off the stage. <laughs> you just fell off the stage casual. Yeah, like, you know, two How do you recover from that? You kind of just in shock throw your guitar back up on the stage and, and continue to play yeah, and then also you hurt that, afterwards. It also helps that me and David are just like laugh. <laughs> and, he, and he has to laugh. When two nights in a row is bad. That's bad. <laughs> as long as you don't get hurt it's fine. We're, yeah. we're okay. Yeah. Alright, so you guys also have a spot. Sorry, it's the most epic falls. I mean, yeah. Yeah. no one has better better falls. You, see, you guys saw well, something, it's like something yeah. yeah. by sitting, mind you, sitting yeah. and sliding. That's or how about when you went rumbling down the stairs <laughs> with the coffee? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's skip over that story. <laughs> that, been, that was bad. That was, bad. That was <laughs> recent. Yeah, I still have the... Still have the... Sorry. Battle wounds. Oh, this is great.